this video is a selection of the new and updated features we're excited to share with you from the August 2023 release. The full list of features can be found in the August 2023 version 20.23.8 release notes, which you can find on Brightspace Community. This month, we're highlighting the following features. Instructors and administrators can now pin announcements to the top of the announcement widget and tool pages. In Creator Plus, Layouts now supports Insert Element. Data Hub features Brightspace datasets improvements for August. Create and add rules to multiple courses with enhanced enrollment rules in Discover. And finally, a summary of all the other features this month. Let's take a closer look at this month's features. Instructors and administrators can now pin announcements and global announcements to the top of the announcement widget and tool pages, allowing important information to remain visible to learners. Pinned announcements are marked with a new pinned icon, so that users can see which announcements have been pinned. Global announcements appear at the top of the page before any announcements pinned within a course offering. Note that pinning an announcement or viewing a pinned announcement is not currently supported in Slim Announcements. Navigate to Announcements and click the drop-down menu button beside the announcement you want to pin. Click Pin to Top. To unpin an announcement, either click the pinned icon or select Unpin from the drop-down menu. Note that clicking the icon to unpin is only available in the Announcements tool, not the widget. The Announcements feature implements the following Pi item. D7111, ability to pin announcement to the top. Thank you to all those who put forward this Pi suggestion to implement this feature. The Announcements feature is available to all clients. It is automatically enabled for all users who have the Announcements tool permission add, edit, and delete announcements enabled for their role. Creator Plus Layouts now supports inserting elements in a Layouts panel. Elements respond to the size of the layout panels they are inserted into in the same way they respond when displayed on smaller screens, such as on mobile devices. These elements include accordions, carousels, hotspots, tabs, callouts, timelines, click and reveals, stylized quotes, and flip cards. The Creator Plus feature is available to all Creator Plus users and is automatically enabled wherever insert element is available. This release adds new columns to existing Brightspace datasets, BDS. The version column is added to the Rubrics Edit BDS to track which edits were made during the same session and allow users to determine the sequence of changes made to a rubric. This column only has data for edits made to assessed rubrics from August 2023 onward. All records from before August 2023 have a value of zero in this column. The Criteria column is added to the Award Objects BDS to indicate the criteria necessary to issue the award. The possible values for this column are determined by the instructor. The Data Hub feature is available to all Brightspace Core clients. To enable, ensure that the Can Access Brightspace Datasets permission is granted to administrators at the org level, and that the d2l.tools.brightspacedatasets.version configuration variable is set to version 8. New and changed datasets appear the first time the dataset runs after the version update. This feature allows users with proper permissions the ability to create an enrollment rule and apply it to as many courses as required. Users can review and edit enrollment rules from the Enrollment Rules page, select Create Enrollment Rule to create a new rule, apply conditions to that rule, and associate that rule with multiple courses. Previously, users could only create and add enrollment rules to a single course from the Course Offering page on a course-by-course -course basis. Users can add a Role in Organization condition to the rule in the Create Enrollment Rule page. Users can select from up to 10 role values to apply to the Role in Organization condition, for example, Learner. Users can also add or remove as many courses as required while creating or editing an enrollment rule from this page. Navigate to Discover and click More Actions, Enrollment Rules. Click Create Enrollment Rule. Enter a rule name and select the desired conditions. Click Add or Remove Courses and select the courses to apply this rule to. Click Update. Once you've reviewed the details of your rule, click Save and Close.
Users of Manager Dashboard can add up to 10 conditions, each with up to 10 specified user attributes. Users with the Manage Discover permission can access the Manage Enrollment Rules link, which takes them to the new Enrollment Rules page. Previously, users required the Configure Availability and Discover permission and could only add or remove enrollment rules from a course directly from the Course Offering Information page. Access to the new Enrollment Rules and Create Enrollment Rules pages, as well as adding role in organization conditions, is available to all clients with the proper permissions. Adding multiple attributes as an Enrollment Rule condition is available only to Manager Dashboard subscribers with user attributes. To enable access to the Enrollment Rules page, including the ability to create, edit, and delete rules, and the Manage Enrollment Rules link, ensure that the Manage Discover permission is granted to the desired user roles. The Configure Availability in Discover permission is required to view existing rules applied to a course from the Course Offering Information page. This is read-only. Finally, let's take a quick look at the other features for this month's release. End of life for App Finder and App Finder LTI 1.1 integration. Two new features with the Rubrics tool. Improve your evaluation experience with the new collapsible panel for assignments and discussions in Mobile View, and new pop-out details provide increased evaluator awareness. And finally, Class Progress displays absent periods more clearly in the User Progress tool. We hope you enjoyed this month's release highlights. As before, you can get the full details of this month's changes in the August 2023 version 20.23.8 release notes on Brightspace Community. See you next month!